Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Addicts Edition. The transfer window may well be shut but of course clubs are still allowed to bring in free agents to boost their squad and like every season it seems Charlton have decided to delve into the free agent market and yesterday we did bring in a new player and yes he can play left back. Charlton Athletic have completed the signing of former Crystal Palace left-back Pape Soare. The Senegal international has joined Charlton on a one-year contract subject to international clearance. And I'm happy with this one. I am very happy with this one. The fact that we've brought in a player of Soare's calibre into League One is just mind-boggling to me. It honestly astonishes me how we've brought in a player of his quality and his experience down to League One. It's honestly ridiculous. So, as ever with these videos, we will be going over the club's article talking about what Pape and Thomas Sangard has to say about the signing. And then, of course, we will get into my thoughts about Soare making the move to SE7. So... Without any further hesitation, let's dive into this video. So, you guys know how these videos go. We will first jump into the club's article about the signing and see what everyone is saying. Charlton Athletic are delighted to confirm the permanent signing of Senegal international Pape Soare. The 31-year-old left-back becomes Charlton's 12th signing of the summer. Soare began training with Nigel Adkins' side last week and impressed the Addicts' hierarchy, resulting in him signing a one-year contract subject to international clearances with Charlton on Monday. Capped 22 times for Senegal, Soiree is excited by the opportunity to join the Addicts. He said, I'm very, very happy to be here. I've been training for a few days. The welcome and the love from the players and staff around the club makes me feel very good and happy. I can't wait to get playing. Owner Thomas Sangard said, we've been looking at our options to get another left back in and I'm really pleased we've been able to sign someone of Pape's quality. He has played at the top level in France and England as well as international games for Senegal. So I'm looking forward to seeing him in a Charlton shirt. Soiree played for Diambo. Bars, I think that's how you pronounce it, before joining Lille where he made 58 appearances in League R including four games during Lille's League R title winning season in 2010-11. In 2012-13 he played 23 times in League R in a loan spell with Reims. He joined Crystal Palace in 2014 playing 48 Premier League games. During that spell Soiree was airlifted to hospital in 2016 after being involved in a road accident and managed to return to the Senegal national team in 2018. He joined Troyes for the 2019-20 season playing 17 games. So there is the club's article about the signing. Now it's time to get into my thoughts about Pape Soare joining Charlton. Now for the most part I have to say this is a very good bit of business from the club. Obviously a free transfer on a one-year contract, 31 years of age, brings a lot of experience to our side and most importantly as I alluded to in the intro it is finally a left back coming into the club. Obviously, we have only got one left back at the club at the moment in Ben Purrington, and he's injured. So we have resorted to playing Chris Gunter, our right back, in that position. And apart from the crew game, he's just been an absolute nightmare to watch. He honestly has just been absolutely shambolic. As I say, the crew game was a good performance, but other than that, he's been relatively underwhelming, and that's putting it lightly. So we needed to bring in a left back, and I think everybody at the club knew that, the fans knew that. We needed to bring in a left back that was going to rival Ben Purrington because as much as I think that I mean I know I'm a very harsh critic of Purrington and can sit here and say that he did have an alright season last year I think for the most part he was actually alright but we needed that competition because we can't rely on Purrington starting every game because it's not going to be good for him you know fitness is going to be obviously fatigue and fitness is going to play a part so there was no way that he'd be able to play the full season in that position so we needed someone to rival him and I think Soare is the perfect player. Of course, as I say, 31 years of age, he brings a lot of experience to this side, has played at the top levels in France and England. Of course, France with Lille, where he won the league with them in 2010-11. Didn't play that many games, he only played four, but still, he managed to win the league with them. And then, of course, played for Crystal Palace, unfortunately. Crystal Palace, that's the club he ended up at in the Premier League, which is a shame, but regardless, it is of course very good for us as it does bring some Premier League experience to our team. He played 48 games for them and from what I've heard from Crystal Palace fans, they said that he was actually very good. They said that he put in 110% every game, which is exactly what we want from a player. We want someone that wants to be here and wants to put in the effort, but they also said that after his road accident, 
that he wasn't really the same after that. And of course, the club did mention that in the article on the 11th of September 2016 after Crystal Palace's FA Cup final against Man United. I think it was not long after that. He was involved in a car crash on the M4, which was pretty bad, to say the least. It was pretty, pretty terrible. He suffered quite bad thigh and jaw injuries, smashed his leg up pretty badly by the sounds of it. It did take a while for him to recover. He took the entire 2016-17 season out recovering and he eventually did return to Crystal Palace. His contract expired at Palace in 2019 and he made the move to Troyes who were in the second tier of France, I do believe. Played 17 times in 2019. However, he was with them last season as well but didn't play a single minute for them in any competition whatsoever. So, so that is the concern with this signing. He comes to us having not played any football last season. He did actually do a pre-season with Crystal Palace from what I've heard and he did feature a couple of times for them. So he has kept relatively fit during the summer and of course now yesterday he has joined Charlton and as the article did reveal he has been training with us for the past week. So he will get another full week of training this week before our game on Saturday against Cheltenham Town. I believe he did also have a trial with Coventry City in the championship but for whatever reason they didn't decide to sign him and we decided to snap him up and as I said earlier in the video a player like Pape Soare you'd look at him on paper and think how the hell have we brought this guy down to League One? Because you'd naturally think that he would be doing it in the Premier League or even the Championship at least. The fact that he's come down to League One is just sensational. It's truly incredible, you know what I mean? To bring in a player of his quality. I do have my concerns with this signing, as I say, not playing any football last season. His pre-season, obviously he did have a pre-season, but he comes to us having only done two weeks worth of training. So to be honest with you, I would not be surprised if Adkins decided to keep Chris Gunter at left-back against Cheltenham. I wouldn't agree with it, even though he had a good game against Crewe. I would like a natural left-back to play in that position. But if Suarez not fit enough, then it's probably not worth the risk. But then again, of course, you would want a natural left-back in that position. And now we've got one, you could probably say there's no excuses for not starting Suarez. And as I say, if you look at a player like Suarez, you'd naturally think that he would be a nail-on starting eleven in this squad. He would be a nail-on first-team starter. And I think, again, for the most part, even though I do have my concerns, I'm very happy with the signing. As I say, Premier League experience, he's played at the top level in France as well. 31, very experienced, obviously will help out with the young players as well. And I think at League One level, he will be a very solid player at this level. And I think, to be honest with you, to get him on a free transfer, we have done very, very well. So that is it for today's episode of Addicts Editions. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, can you possibly leave a like, subscribe if you are new around here, and turn on those post notifications so you are notified of every time I post a new video. Welcome to Charlton Athletic, Pape Soare. I hope you like it here in SE7, and I hope that you can deliver the results for us and have a very good season with us. What do you guys think about Pape joining us? Let me know in the comments below. This has been Tyler Rowlinson. Have a nice day, and I will see you all in the next video, which will be on Saturday for our match reaction against Cheltenham Town, which I am very, very much looking forward to watching now. Honestly, with the signings that we've made recently and the players that we've added to our squad, I'm going into the Cheltenham game with a lot of confidence, so much so that I am expecting us to give them a hiding. I reckon we could absolutely walk all over Cheltenham Town if we can perform and the new boys can gel and put in a decent performance. We'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it goes. Cannot wait to get back down the valley. Take it easy. Stay safe. And I'll see you all then.